Hey everybody, hope your day is going a little bit better than mine. I'm at Craft here in Aurora, Illinois, waiting impatiently to get loaded. Uh, I thought it was going to be a drop in the hook, but no, it's a live load. And they are taking their sweet time. So I just figured I'd make a quick video and uh, I don't know. I'm blah. I just want to get going because I know I'm going to have to go through Chicago. I've got a little under three and a half hours left to drive and I need to make it by Lansing, Michigan by 4.30 in the morning. That's not going to happen. I emailed my boss, let him know and he said, that's cool, just try to get there by about 9, usually they're alright, uh, if we can get there by then. Uh, I've already got a two hour break out of the way, so all I gotta do is take an 8, then I'll have uh, most of my hours back for uh, to go ahead and go on into Lansing and get this delivered. It's just probably not going to be at 4.30. Uh, I'm hoping it's by 9. I still got to make it through Chicago rush hour traffic. That's probably going to use up the rest of my hours, so I'll be able to get just to the other side of Chicago before I have to take an eight and get some sleep. Other than that, I figured uh, a few of you have started watching my videos, and cool, thank you. Uh, like I said, I, I am a trainer. I'm not doing much training right now. Uh, kind of taking a break from it. Kind of liking the alone time out here. Plus, I had uh, my uh, future stepdaughters go with me in the truck, and so I'll probably pick that back up here another few weeks. But kind of wanted to go over my career and when it started, and uh, how long I've been doing this. Started it back in uh, January of '03. I had always wondered about getting into trucking, but I'm sorry, just looking at the big trucks intimidated the hell out of me. But I figured, what the hell, I'm going to give it a shot. So I uh, signed up with uh, Schneider, big old orange trucks, you see them everywhere. And it was a Walmart dedicated account out of uh, Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Uh, so you didn't really go a long ways or from home or anything. I think about the furthest I went was like Baltimore. So, that's close. Uh, to me at least, it's close. But I went through their training program and I won't give them this. Their training program was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't. Here's the keys. Go to it. You had to do uh, two weeks, three weeks just in school. Then you had a uh, I believe I was out with the trainer for four weeks and um, might have been a little bit longer as far as the, I, it's been so long I don't remember exactly how long, but it was a pretty good training program. Um, and uh, got my CDL, started with them, uh, moved on to, um, well, I wouldn't say move on. I got suckered in by a sign that said 41 cents per mile. And at that point with Schneider, I think I said like 25. It's like ridiculously low pay. It's like 41, hey, I'm gonna double my paycheck. So I signed up with that JB Hunt. Well, it's true. It was 41 cents a mile, no BS there. They just didn't give you any miles. I, uh, first week I had like three runs. Well, it's only like adding up to about 1,200 miles. The second week, uh, starting out on Monday, and I was looking to get out of the truck stop by Monday morning at least. Oh, I think it was Tuesday evening or early Wednesday morning I finally got dispatched. So, I got hung out to dry. Four, five days there 
I was in North Carolina. And you kind of expect it sometimes on the weekends. But I didn't figure I'd get stuck somewhere during the week. So uh, at that point, the company, I, local company that I had applied for, ended up calling out of the blue. wasn't expecting it. And um, called my uh, dispatcher with JB, told him, hey, you know, you left me here for about five days sitting here. And he said, I know, I'm sorry. I, you know, we just don't have anything for you. Um, uh, he said, they'll be able to get me something that day. I was like, okay, well, I'm probably going to have to get you to route me somewhere home because another job offer came up that I just can't turn down. I told him about it, and he said, well... Be honest with you, I don't blame you. I mean, it'll be a nice local job, and uh, we're dead right now this time of year. So he said, "Go for it. I'll, I'll get you on up to Columbus." He said, uh, "You know, just clean out the trucks the best as you can." He said, "I can't imagine it'd be too dirty because you're only in it for a week or two. <laughs> it's like uh, there's hardly anything in it." So. That turned out pretty good. Worked for a company out of Dayton for a couple of years, um, doing local work, and I decided I I don't like the local work. It, it was just repetitive, too much of the same thing every day. Basically, it was two runs to Columbus, one run to Dayton every single day, and it just got burned out on. So took a couple years off, did some photography, and decided to get back into trucking. And since I had been off, I had to go back through a refresher course through a C1 truck driving school. Now, luckily, I had never given up my CDL. I always kept it because I always had it back in the, in the back of my head. I'll go back into it one day. So I uh, went through the refresher course. The first it is a three-week course. You had to be there. The first week was it was all classroom. The second week is when we start the driving and everything. And uh, basically, what I did when they post on the truck, I just looked at the instructor and said, "Can I take my test now?" And what that meant was, even though I had my CDL and didn't have to worry about going through the state certification. I had to pass their test. It's like, he said, well, I don't care, but, you know, I'm sure you don't want to do like a warm-up drive or anything like that. You know, he's, you know, if it's been a while since you've been out of the truck, I said, what's the worst thing that can happen if I fail it, I take it tomorrow? <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's true. He said, yeah, let's do it. So, went ahead and pass that, passed the pre-trip. So I was out of there in a week and a week and a day or a week and a two days, something like that. So got that done. Uh, got with my trainer with Pan Transport. Uh, his name is Bob. Very cool guy. And uh, got on the truck with him and had a pretty good time. And he taught me a lot. Uh, I got a little nervous when he uh, when I was driving and he said, "Now watch your airspeed." go ahead and get those flaps down. I was like, what? He's also a, a pilot and a flight instructor. So, sorry, Bob, I had to throw that in there. He never really did that, but uh, he was a real good guy. We had a good time out there. I got to see West Coast for the first time. We got to see California. We got to spend a weekend in Vegas because they weren't expecting me, I guess, really to be able to drive. And our first run that we got, or I'm sorry, the second run we got was out of California. Out of Pennsylvania going to California. I think we got that on Wednesday or something like that. So they figured with a Monday delivery, you know, we'll have plenty of time to get there. Uh, because it was really, they only uh, dispatched as a single driver until the trainee gets more experience. Well, I was already experienced, so... We got there by Friday night. Uh, half ball. Then we were about 100 some miles away from delivery on Monday morning. And 
I ended up leaving out of there Monday morning, and uh, we had a really good time. So I ended up going with Pam for a couple of years. My last year, I ended up training for them. Uh, got a really nice brand new Pro Star International that taught me a very important lesson. If they offer you a brand new truck, try not to take it. I mean, it was nice, the plastic smelling, brand new smell, I mean, it was nice, but what sucked was it seemed like every two weeks, every three weeks, recall work, recall work, I'd go in for something minor, well, we, we got some recall work on, to do on, you know, what you brought it in for, the belt or whatever it was, that's fixed. Your recall thing, we're out of parts. We're having them shipped in. And it, it seemed like that happened every, every single time that I had to take it in for anything. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of, big, of uh, getting uh, brand new trucks anymore. Uh, I like the one I've got, it's a 2011 Cascadia, as you saw in the previous video. So, I've uh, been with the current company I've been with for close to two years, coming up in January. Love it. Uh, they keep me busy. Got a great boss. Front office is great. Uh, uh, I can't say enough about them uh, as far as good things. The only, the only drawback. You know, when you work for trucking companies, usually you have a whole list of drawbacks. The only one with this company that I have is you can't take your truck home if you live fairly close to the terminal. You have to commute in your own car. Which I kind of liked having to take home trucks. That way, if I got some time on the weekend, I could do some cleaning or whatever and have it all ready to go out for the next week. Since the yard, and this is really cool, when you do get to the yard after your week is done, you know, if you're a weekend time at home or whatever, once you get to the yard, you don't have to worry about fueling it, don't have to worry about doing anything. Pull in the yard, turn your paperwork in, go home. Uh, this company, they have every member of their maintenance staff in pretty much on the weekends. As soon as your truck gets in there, goes in through the shop to get the once over, any kind of maintenance work you need done on it, anything during the week that you found that might need to be fixed, they take care of it all there, and then uh, when they're done with that, they fill it up for you, top off the fuel, top off the def, and then it goes through the wash bay and it's uh, ready for you to come back in on Monday morning or Sunday night or whenever you get back, so uh, they really, really take care of their equipment. So that that is one thing I do like about the uh, uh, company in a big way. Because last company I was with, uh, every trailer I found something was wrong with it. Uh, I already explained what was going on with the truck, so it was a nightmare as far as maintenance. But this place. I think I've had one, two, two breakdowns on the road. That's not too bad. They, they really keep up on things. So. That's it for today. I might throw in some footage driving through Chicago if uh, if I can get out of here soon. Talk to you later. Still have a red light. Still red. Still a red light. Guess what color the light is? Red! Obviously, finally, a green light. Ah, uh, you got to take it in stride. I was getting around. I wasn't getting impatient at all, really. So, now we're going to head through Chicago to the other side. Probably stopped at the J in uh, close to Gary, Indiana. Uh, all that in an hour and a half. <laughs> we'll see how that works out.
Pretty much lucked out. Got a. Didn't have to worry about getting to a truck stop. There's no way I had the time to do that. I uh, instead opted to stay right here at one of the little uh, oases by the, the Chicago area, I 294. I think it's the Hinsdale Oasis, something like that. What the hell? Hey. I get to eat my favorite kind of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> 